this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on a Scrap Mechanic. And uh, in the last episode, I built I built this absolutely beautiful piece of machinery, which I used to try and fling myself, and uh, it works okay. It wor it works pretty well, I would say. Look, I can go like this, and I go, woo! Oh, look at that! That it can. I know what it could be. It could be a, like a useful way for me to be able to get on the roof. I'm like, oh. I wonder what it looks like outside today. I can go woo and then land up here and then I can look around the place. <laughs> yeah, so it didn't, I'll be honest, it didn't fling me quite as far as I hoped it would. You know, it wasn't quite as effective uh, as I assumed. Uh, and I think, I think the way to make it better would be just to make it way bigger. If I made it like taller and this bit longer, uh, I think I would have been able to, to fling myself further, but it doesn't matter. I feel like I've kind of learned what I needed to, to learn uh, from building it. And uh, now I'm gonna go and try and build a proper flying vehicle. So even though this can send me flying, um, yeah, I don't think I could hardly consider that a flying vehicle because yeah, the vehicle doesn't move. <laughs> so yeah, let's try and do something proper with uh, these thrusters. Then I've also uh, been playing around with these, and these are um, uh, these are sensors. And let me kind of show you how these work. Um, there's a good chance some of you know already if you've been playing the game. But like, I can place this down here, and then if I place like a thruster here, say, and then I link these up. That means anything that goes in front of this sensor will set off that thruster. So it could be me, or it could be like, I could set it so like a block goes there. So if I kind of go like, uh, if I build this up here and then here, uh, oh no, it's not doing it. Does it need to be right next to it? Oh, that, 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 oh, maybe that doesn't do it then. Maybe other blocks don't do it then. I know that like the ground does. So if I did it like facing the ground and it went like, and it was close to the ground, uh, then that would uh, set it off. So yeah, I obviously don't know <laughs> as much about them as I thought. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to go and play around with them and uh, see if I can build some sort of flying thing. So I'm not going to call it a rocket because it probably won't look like a rocket, but I guess it'll be a kind of similar thing to a rocket. I'm going to be using thrusters to launch me into the sky. The tricky thing is going to be about controlling myself because I built my, um, where's my other flying thing? Is it round here or has it flown off somewhere? There was something that I built which kind of went up and then went straight back down again. I don't know where I've put it now though, uh, but yeah, I, I don't really consider that like as a proper flying thing just because I had literal like literally zero control over it but hopefully this one's going to be a bit better so what should I build it out of let's do let's build it out of metal because if I think it's made out of wood I think it's going to be too light and it's going to go all over the place so let's build it out of metal and then these kind of like warning blocks just to, <laughs> to warn everyone uh, that I'm coming so let's do like kind of a platform first and I want to make sure uh, that this platform has a like an exact middle so if I kind of place that is that in the middle, so I can kind of do. Um, actually, I know how to do this. If I pick the uh, the entire thing up and then place it back down, the lift always goes uh, to the exact middle, so I can kind of judge by that uh, whether it is in the middle or not. So I think I need to go out uh, one further in this direction. I realize I'm kind of only using this stuff. And what is this stuff called? Is it metal? Uh, it's uh, it's lightweight barrier block. Okay, so it's not very heavy. So I guess the middle uh, is going to be quite light, and I can have the uh, outside more uh, more heavy. So let's go and uh, uh, once again destroy this and uh, pick it back up, and then this will uh, be in the uh, the middle again. And uh, let's just double check what this is. So I got one, two, three, four, five, and then oh, no, I think this is only four. One, two, three, four, uh, which means I need to add one more row on this side, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that means I need to add two more on this side, and then that way this should be like an exact square, basically. Uh, but now uh, let's go and uh, let's make it so it's not an exact square. So I want to add. Um, so I, I want four to be like four of these thrusters uh, to be on each corner. Well, not four on each corner, but like there'll be one on each corner. So there'll be four in total, if that makes sense. And so hopefully these are going to keep the uh, the entire thing uh, relatively stable. That's what the the plan is. If I have uh, uh, these all uh, down here like this, uh, then hopefully, oh uh, yeah, this is going to keep the entire thing stable. Like rather than having them in the the middle, I think if like it rocks or anything, uh, then it's going to go all over the place. So let's go and just uh, add all of these uh, in the uh, the corners like this. And uh, I guess I guess for these, I don't need to worry about the sensors. I guess I could just have like a switch so these are just turned on or off. And then what would be good, I think a good way to, to control it would be by doing sensors. And if I just kind of walk on top of it, so if I walk to one side, then I trip like a sensor and then that makes a, a thrust 
thruster go off on that side and then vice versa. Uh, and so hopefully that's going to be an okay way to control it. Because I don't know, I don't know how I could do it with like a driving seat yet. Like I'm sure there's a way how I could, but at the moment I can only kind of just like turn the left and right on a driving seat. And I don't know, I don't know, maybe that would help me, but I kind of want to be able to go uh, in all four directions. So these uh, are going to be down here and these are just going to basically be able to, to be on uh, the entire time. So let's just go and add a, a switch in the, the middle here. And uh, let's just link this up to, to all of these. I'm going to have a little bit of a, a test flight uh, just to see uh, how well this works with just these. So I want to be careful because I don't want to lose it. I, there's a, a strong possibility that I'm going to press this and this is going to fly off and I'm going to lose it. So I want to be ready to, to either switch it off or grab it again. So if I turn it on, oh, here we go. Oh, look at this straight up no problem look how steady this is i think putting it, um, them in the corner made it a lot steadier no i want to turn this off now though. oh no no okay i've fallen but i have turned it off so hopefully that's gonna be dropping down sometime soon um is it dropping it's hard to yep it's dropping it's dropping i want to step out the way and look at that a perfect landing. That was amazing. So that means that if I don't press anything, then this just goes directly up, which is exactly uh, what I wanted it to do. So now uh, we need to go and add in some uh, some sensors. So let's go and add in... Um, so I want to do them kind of in the uh, the middle. So I'll do one like this side. And uh, well, I guess I could do kind of like a, a keypad. Let's get this... Let's move this out the, the way a little bit. Let's move uh, this to the, uh, the edge over here like that. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, link it up uh, again to, to everything now, because otherwise I'm going to forget. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to link that up there. Then I guess I can do kind of like a, um, kind of just like a, a keypad in the middle. So think of like a controller, you know, you've got the, the arrow buttons, like up, down, left, and right. If I kind of do like a little one of them in the, the middle, so then that way I'm not walking too close to the edge, and I'm not going to accidentally fall down. So if I go dun, 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 and dun, then I can basically stand here, and you can see as I move left, right, back, and forth, then hopefully this is going to be like an okay way to steer. It's like... I'm basically just standing on a giant controller. I guess that's the uh, the way to think about it. Um, but what I need to do now then is I need to add some more thrusters on because I need these ones are kind of just to power it up and to make it steady. Uh, but I need now some that I can actually be able to, to steer it. And so I don't want these uh, to be too far to the side because if I think they're too close to the edge, I think it's going to like, it, it's going to be too strong. Like it's going to steer it too much and then it's going to lose control. So hopefully if I just put these here, it's going to be okay. So now if I I just link the uh, the right uh, sensors uh, to these thrusters, uh, then that means by just kind of walking around, I'm going to have some sort of ability to steer. So I'm not I'm not going to have a lot of control. I will be honest, <laughs> if I have any control whatsoever. You know, it's I'm not going to have like you know I'm not going to be able to do loops or anything in the sky, especially as I, I was as I would just fall off. But hopefully, I'm going to have some sort of control. So let's stand right in the the middle here, and I want to make sure I'm not uh, stepping on any of them yet. And so let's switch this on. Okay. I'm going up now let's go and try and go forward a little bit if I walk forward oh no oh no no oh dear um this isn't good uh right it's got in that way I don't want to lose it right I've got to head to oh it's hit a tree oh it's hit a tree it's falling down um I, I didn't set the uh the sensor off for some reason then right let's go and let's go and grab this we can try and fly again uh from the outside like I didn't set this I was trying to walk on the sensor but for some reason uh, I didn't set it off let's before we scrap this idea let's have a let's have another go at that like you can see here I'm kind of stepping on the the sensors Oh, but it doesn't seem to be setting any of the uh, the thrusters off, unless it is, uh, but I can't really... Oh, no, it is setting them off, uh, but it did... when I was flying, it didn't let me kind of walk up onto the uh, the sensors for some reason. I was kind of like in the... um. Yeah, it was kind of like as if I was in the way or something. Uh, let me go and uh, let's go and give that another go, shall we? And uh, see uh, if I can uh, if I can control it a little better. So let's try and walk onto the sensor. I can't walk. Oh, there we go. I set one off, and now I've fallen off. Oh, dear. Um... Right, I, I think we might have lost this one. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see it. Oh, no, I can see it. I can see it through the trees. Right, if I keep... No, that's gone, isn't it? I'm never seeing that again. I'm never going to see that contraption again. I thought that was good, and I'm never going to see it again. But I think I think that is a good opportunity uh, for me to rethink my plan. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? I think it's coming down. Or is that it there? There's something moving over there. I think that's it there. That might be one of my past inventions flying past. <laughs> it's just like a star in the sky. Every every morning I can look up at the star and be reminded of my past failure. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go back to the lab and let's rethink this. I think I need a seat. I think I well, I need to be attached to what I'm flying in because otherwise I think I'm just going to lose it every time. So, uh, let's try and work out a way 
uh, how I can have a, a seat involved. Well, let, let's see if I can uh, have some sort of control uh, with the uh, the driver's seat. Because I think that might be an easier way to do it. And let, let's, let's do a, a different shape uh, as well, just to be a bit more interesting. So let's do this one as a rectangle kind of shape more. If I kind of go like this and stretch it out a bit this further, maybe this will be a better shape. I have no reason to, to think it would be, but <laughs> let's go and just add a bit of variety. And so let's try and get the, the driver's seat right in the, the middle, uh, because you want to make sure it's uh, as balanced as possible. I really want this to uh, to be kind of symmetrical, uh, because if there's too much weight on one side, then it's going to start drifting. So uh, I think this is in the middle that way around, but let's just check here. Uh, so we've got one, two, oh wait, is that right? One, two, three, oh, no, I'm doing this wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think that was. And on this side, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I think I need to go out uh, a couple more on this side. And if it doesn't seem right, then I can kind of just rebalance uh, it. Is that, does that look in the, the middle? I think I need to go just one uh, further out in this side. And I am sure this will be absolutely fine. It's just a tester anyway. It doesn't matter too much if it's not perfect. So uh, let's go and do, well, let's go and move this, um, uh, this lift out the way. Let's go and get the, the lift into the uh, the middle and uh, do that. Actually, this is a, a nice way to, to test. Uh, it looks like, actually, that um, the middle is, uh, is... I need to add a little bit more uh, to this side, uh, I think. And uh, then let's see if the, the lift's in the middle. It's just a, a nice way to work out where the, the middle is. And uh, if the lift's in the way uh, when you're building as well, if you kind of just add blocks to any side, then, like, the lift will be somewhere else. But there we go. That looks like it is in the, the middle. Uh, so let's go and add some, uh, some thrusters in. So once again, I kind of want to add some thrusters, uh, which are going to be kind of just there and steady. Uh, so hopefully these ones here are just going to be able to, to lift the entire thing out. Well, let's, uh, let's do it so they're a little bit wider, because uh, then I think it, it's going to be a little bit steadier. So if I kind of build uh, out like this a little bit, and uh, do this on uh, all four sides. Uh, so this is where the, the thrusters can be. And I think uh, this is going to make it be a bit more steady. Because that, that's the big problem. Like, I can get things to the sky. I have proven with that invention in the sky. You can just about see it up there. I have proven I can get things to go very high. <laughs> the problem is, is being able to control them. And uh, so that's what I'm going to have to work out and try and uh, work out how to, to do that. And I know that probably, like, people have kind of found this out. And, uh, you know, they've done videos on it and stuff. But I, I kind of want to just do it myself. I just kind of want to uh, play around for a while and just kind of see what I can do. So uh, I'm going to try and, uh, as much as I can, uh, work all of this stuff out myself. So now, I think, if I... If I link this up to these, I think then that means if I like step on the, the pedal, actually, this isn't a driver's seat. I've just realized that's just a seat. That's just a thing you sit on. <laughs> we want uh, we want this one, don't we? This is the uh, the proper driver's seat, isn't it? So this is what's going to allow me to control it. So yeah, I think that if I link this up to these, uh, then that means uh, that if I step on the, the pedal, uh, then that uh, is going to, to power all of these thrusters. I just don't know how it's going to work uh, with the uh, the steering wheel is the, uh, the only problem. So let's just give this a go. Let's just see uh, what happens. So if I move the steering wheel, yeah, you can see that there's nothing actually happening here. Uh, happening here. Uh, but if I press up, then, oh, look, the thrusters are going... But I think because I built the entire thing out of metal, <laughs> I'm not sure they're strong enough. I might need to add a few more thrusters by the uh, the looks of things. <laughs> and that is why you don't build flying vehicles entirely out of metal. Wait a minute. Planes are made of pretty much everything that flies made out of metal. <laughs> I guess they're a little bit more aerodynamic than me. So let's um let's go and uh, let's double uh, the amount of thrusters. As if I just add these side by side here. Uh, let's go and uh, link these up as well. And uh, let's see if this is going to be enough to get me airborne. I think not being incredibly powerful might actually help me though because I think I'm not just going to zoom off into the the sky and uh, just lose what I, I build again so let's give it let's give it a go with these four and let's see if I can at least get off the the ground so I'm holding up at all steady oh look at that we're flying we're ever so slightly flying <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this might be good to to get something off the uh, the top shelf of a supermarket, but not much else. <laughs> right, so let's go. Let's just go and shove one right in the middle as well. If I do one, so if I just kind of build out the um uh, the back here a little bit, and then that means the uh, the lift won't get in either way. Uh, so if I just do one right underneath the the seat, 
I think that will be uh, enough uh, to, to be able to, to launch me uh, into the, the sky. So I want to make sure it's exactly in the, the middle. I think I need to go uh, one further this way like that. Uh, I think is that the middle? What about if I had kind of two like that? I think I think that's pretty central. So let's go and uh, link those up as well. And uh, let's see if we can get a, a little bit higher. But that was good. That was a steady. It was a small lift, but I didn't rock at all. I was able to, to stay flying for a long time and I didn't like fall off anywhere so that's uh that was a little bit reassuring at least so let's go and uh, uh break all of this uh, out of the the way uh there go. i just let it drop down there for now and uh, i need to link these up uh, to the the pedals again and uh, then i'm gonna try and work out a way to do the steering so i've kind of been ignoring that for now <laughs> uh, but just by trying to fly but let's go and give this a go so is this steady oh look at this Look how st that is perfectly steady, and this is this is quite a, a nice speed to go up and down, isn't it? It's pretty, it's pretty controlled. You know, I'm not going to be breaking, the, you know, the sound barrier or anything, but I am able to to lift. Steering still does nothing, uh, but I can go up and down. So th this is a nice start. So I, I don't want to lose this one. I don't want to lose this contraption yet because <laughs> I kind of I kind of like this so far. So let's put this uh, back on the uh, the lift, and uh, now I need to work out a way to do the steering. So if I'm in the steering wheel, I really need to make sure that it links up uh, to those steering wheels. So I wonder if I could I do something with bearings possibly. Um, I could make it so. I mean, I could do it so. I turn, which turns a bearing, and then the bearing can cover a sensor, which will allow me to turn. Does that make sense? So if I kind of like, um, so let, let, let's just try and focus on going left and right and not worry about going forward and back for now. So if I go and uh, build out some more uh, here a little bit, and then I could add a, um, yeah, I could add a, a another thruster on here. So let's make this let's make this uh, as light as possible here uh, by using these um uh, these ones. So let's build out this way a bit. And then if I add a thruster here and then do the same on the other side and make it so these get activated, uh, then that's going to allow me to kind of turn a little bit. Like it's more just going to make me spin, I think, in a circle rather than turn. Uh, but if I can just get like any type of control, I'm going to kind of consider that a a win for now at least. So how long is this? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so let's do this the same one two three four so i need to go uh, one out here uh, add my thruster on the the underneath and so now i'm going to use sensors again but rather than walking to to activate the the sensors uh, the way i'm going to do it uh, is by uh, having something turn and go over the sensors if that makes sense so i might as well do it behind me uh, so it doesn't kind of get in my way uh, so if i do one sensor uh, it needs to be looking up here uh, actually i can do them probably uh, quite close to together i guess if i do that then and that there and then block off like the edges uh, actually I need to block off there and then here and then if I made it so like there's a pole that turned and covered these up then that way I think this would uh, this work so I need to add a, a bearing in now so I'm going to try and mainly build out of this material uh, oh no not this material uh, the the warning stuff because this seemed to be lighter and as soon as I could only just about uh, get off the uh, the ground as it was I don't want it to be much heavier so uh, I actually I think I need um I think I just need to add a bearing so it's like uh, like this uh, here, and then if I do like a, a pole going off it in a, in this direction, not that far, but <laughs> in a, in this direction, uh, then that way when this turns uh, left and right, it's going to cover either uh, this sensor or the the other one. So let's do it bigger, uh, so then it's going to be like more responsive, uh, I guess. And uh, let's let's just see if this works. So let's go and link this up uh, to this bearing here, and let me try turning it and see if it does it. There we go. You see it either. Comes covers one sensor or the other sensor. So if I do left, it goes right, and if I do right, it goes left. So all I need to do uh, is go and switch around the, the sensor so it goes the other way, and you can see there I can turn left and right, and it switches between which sensor uh, is lit up. There we go. That works. <laughs> so now, if I link up this sensor to this thruster, and then this sensor to this thruster, hopefully I'm going to have some sort of, a, of area or aerial control. So let's go and lift up. Um, I seem to be pretty steady so far, so I'm now going to tap to the right. Tap to the right, and oh, oh no, I went left, I went, I went the wrong way. Oh, but look, look at me, I was flying. I flew for a bit then, and I was almost in control. I got it the wrong way round though, didn't I? Because I forgot that 
you know, when one thruster goes on, it's going to go and like do the other direction. So all I need to do is uh, switch this bearing around uh, to the way it was. And I think, I think I'm almost there. I think I've almost uh, built my uh, my flying vehicles. Let's go and take it uh, back inside. Uh, so I have a, a nice flat uh, piece of ground to, to go and try and take off on. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, try and, uh, and have a, another flight. So I still need to be able to make it so I can kind of fly forward and back as well. Uh, but I, th I think there will be a way for me to be able to, to do that. But for now, let's go and take up into the air. And if I tap to the right like this, there we go. I'm now going to the right and I can try and steady myself. Steady, steady, ooh, steady. Oh, no, 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 crash, crash, crash. Oh, there we go. I'm still up. I'm still up just about. There we go. And if I let myself drop a bit, uh, and then keep tapping. Let, let, let's see if I can try and maneuver my way uh, out of the, the workshop without getting out of the, the vehicle. Is there any way I can self-right myself? I don't think there is. That was good, though. Was that good? It wasn't very good, <laughs> but it kind of worked, didn't it? <laughs> like, I, I went up, and then I went in the direction I wanted to go. Let's try and be a, a little bit more gentle on the control. So I'm just going to very quickly tap to the, the left and just try and make it. So there we go. There's a tiny little thrust there. And now, look, I'm going off to the, the left, and now I'm going to try and just steady myself out a little bit more. And now I'm going back this way, and oh, no, not good, not good. Down I go, down I go, down I go. <laughs> Even though... It's a little bit rubbish, and I have very little control whatsoever. I'm kind of proud of that. I'm kind of proud of working out a way to, to fly it. So um, what I need to do now is work out a way to to control it a little bit better <laughs> and also uh, to work out a way uh, to go forward and backwards. What would be good would be to have like a co-pilot so like I can control up, down, left and right and they can kind of control turning and like forward and backwards. Uh, that would be an easy way to do it but I wonder uh, if there's a way I'll be able to, to work it out where I only need to, to control it by myself. But uh, sadly uh, we have just about uh, run out of, uh, of time in uh, this episode here and I, th I think that's my my last build still there flying up in the uh, the sky. <laughs> ah dear. So yeah, that's the, uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, there'll be a link in the, uh, the description to the next episode uh, once I've uploaded it. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!